then just right click this all these are virtual component so just right click this and power on i'm also going to power on the wlc i'm also going to power on the management pc because this is the management pc from where i will be accessing the uh, virtual wlc and these all are a flat network of 192 so we have given the name vlan 192 and since ap's are a physical one so they are connected to this switch 192 168 1.16 we can access from this management pc and uh, we can tell it into our ap and see the console level behavior of the ap if you are interested that what is the message ap send on the console during the join process during the down, download of the configuration and code all those things you can see there and you can configure the static configuration so that your ap will stay to your wlc only not to some other one wlc so let's see uh, what are the configuration there so this is my virtual wlc let me verify okay so vlan 192 is already there okay so we uh, since this is a flat network i have to put everything in vlan 192 there is no different different vlan for this simple flat network to make this thing simple so if if my wlc is vlan 192 if this network the one which is saying cloud is is also in vlan 192 okay so what i have to do i have to make this interface ethernet 1 slash 3 in vlan 192 and uh, also we have to make the wlc uh, port in a trunk mode and ethernet 1 slash 1 in a vlan 192 so what i'm going to see i am going to verify whether things are there for me i have done that so that's why it is you can see i have created vlan 192 and in 192 Mm, ethernet 1 slash 1 and ethernet 1 slash 3 are there already okay look like wlc has not rebooted yet so i'm going just and click on the virtual wlc just a simple click and wait for a few seconds be gentle on this these are virtual devices so give them some time some pause so that they can boot so uh, I have clicked on this. Uh, so you, when you right click, you can power on or power up the devices as you want. And then you double click to, or a single click to open the console. Then you can see this WLC I have already configured, the basic configuration I have already done. So that means I have already configured the credentials. But for every WLC, the credentials are same, like AD admin, and then uninet in U caps, uninets at the rate one two three. So here Cisco controller we got. Now, when you get Cisco controller, you may want to verify what is the code we are running. So sys info is the command that is equivalent to so version of your router and switches <coughs> so here you can verify in the initial few line make and model uh, no, sorry uh, you can verify the version 8.2.3.1.0.2 8 some major version is 8.3 and the minor version is 1.0.2 <sighs> and system name IP address here you can see the IP address the management IP address I have given because mine one is uh, uh, let me take you okay sorry I minimize this everybody can see my screen hello no no not able to see no not able to see okay unsaid I so by mistake I did that so if you look into this diagram 
this switch is connected to this virtual WLC, right? And this management PC is also connected to this switch. So maybe in your case, these ports are already configured. If it is not configured, then make this Ethernet 1 slash 3, 1 slash 1 in switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 192. You can verify so VLAN and you, if you are getting that uh, ports in that uh, VLAN, that means it is already done. You can also verify that the WLC port is in trunk mode. Okay, so let me go to the WLC again. And so here I was telling, here you can see the system name. You can verify the code running on. You can verify this is Cisco, Cisco controller. And here you can verify the system of time. So it is almost equivalent to the it is almost equivalent to the so version command. And this is the burn in MAC address of this WLC. And number of W lens is equal to 1. I have configured 1. 802.11 and 802.11b both are enabled. And country code for which I have configured this WLC is India. That is IN. Now let's go to the switch and see. Now my WLC has rebooted. So let's see, so CDP never. So you can see, so run INT Ethernet 0 slash 1. <coughs> this I already put in a trunk mode, as I said. I'll just for For my identification, I put description WLC01. So in the screen, to go back to the screen, here two ports are connected to the virtual WLC. You don't need to configure both them, both of them, just configure this one, Ethernet 0 by 0. Now let me see uh, by going to the management PC, since my connectivity is through. Let me verify if it, I am able to ping this or not. Okay, 192.168.1.111. Okay, so from this management PC, I I this management PC has IP address of 192.168.1.111. Okay, this it will get automatically from the DSCP. So do, you don't need to worry about. But you may want to verify the connectivity. So I ping the 192.168.1.111, which is in my case, WLC IP. And uh, if I go to the, if I want to access the GUI, I browse through HTTPS colon double slash and the management IP address of the WLC. Again, same credential which I have given on the CLI level, capital U, N, I, N, T, S, Uninets at the rate one, two, three. Happen. 
this is the summary page you get like wireless network you can see one access point zero active client no no client none of the client is connected currently so it is saying zero zero rogue uh, ap client uh, zero zero interfere and zero zero because i have not connected the ap as of now so basically to go into the main where i can change the uh, configuration of the wlc or i can say the production tab I will click on the advanced because this is just a summary page. It gives an overview of your network. So I click on the advanced and then this is the production page I get. So you can see monitor, WLAN, controller, wireless, security, management, command. These are the tabs are there. There I can go and change if I want to do any change. And uh, basically, what you did in a CLI, so sys info, the same thing you can verify from the GUI itself. So you can see the software version is 8.3.102. Management IP address is this. You can also verify that currently it support 200 access point and the make Cisco virtual wireless controller. Local mobility group units network is enabled. Okay, and here you can verify the traps if any of the traps you you are getting, and the top W lens you will get by the client consumption. How many clients are consuming? Let's say uh, one W uh, SSID is consumed by uh, 20, 30 clients. So in that way, in uh, according to the consumption order, it will give you the top W lens here under this. So if I now, so this I will go into detail in much detail, but today is our task is to access the lab. That is one thing. Second thing is to make the AP join the controller and then verify with the various troubleshooting command and so command. So if I say the wireless, I'm not able to see uh, any AP. So I may want to go to go back. I want to go to this switch to verify my AP. And in my case, AP is connected to FA0 slash 13 on uh, FA0 slash 13 port. So I will go to the management PC. Now this is my switch. This is my controller. Why it is going to? Can I remove? Can I move this controller? Sorry, or I can drag it down. Maybe I can drag it down. Oh, somewhere here. That make me suitable. Works. Okay. This is the PC. So everybody can see. Yes. Yes. You can move this control layer, you know, you can dock to the top, dock to the below. In my case, it was getting to the top. So whenever I was trying to hit the, the main diagram, uh, it clicked on this top here and then on here. So uh, I move it here. And this is my management PC where I have access the GUI of the where I have access the GUI of the WLC. Here you can see already. Now here is my putty. So what I can do, 192.168.1.16 is the, sorry, 1.16, 1.16. Oh, sorry, uh, they, the, it's actually, we have to access with 192.168 dot one dot system via tenlet basically tenlet connection has been set over here uh, let me try with the unit set the rate one two three mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not working 
I will check with the unit why the password they have not changed or something like that. Or I can do 192.168.1.253. I can go to the terminal server. Let me do the terminal this as well. Unit's at the rate 123. So post. Okay, so I was not able to get into that switch directly where the AP port is connected. So what I did, I uh, I go to the terminal server 192.168.1.253. Uh, from there, you can access the console of the AP directly. So um, I believe the ports are already in 192, 192 VLAN. So I just wanted to get a console of AP01 why it is not joining the controller. So what I did, uh, what uh, you have to do, you have to go to this 192.168.1.253, terminate this from the putty, and then give a command so host. So it will give you all the things which are connected. Now my is AP01. AP Mine my AP is AP01. So I just click. So I will try with the default one Cisco and capital C I S C O password. By default, this is the password that works in the uh, okay C I S C O. <coughs> so by default, the password on uh, AP is a Cisco. Uh, sorry, username is Cisco and password is capital C I S C O. Okay, let's see. So this is the uh, uh, AP, we got the console. We can see some uh, it trying to translate the Cisco cap web controller domain, but we have not configured the DNS, right? So now it's trying to, since my WLC is on, and uh, this is only WLC that is on, which is in the same subnet as the AP is. So it's trying to get registered with the WLC. And here, that thing I tell you that AP has a mixed certificate. Yesterday only I told you. So I said that after a discovery request and response, they form a DTLS, uh, the secure tunnel. Uh, they encrypt that with the help of the certificate. So you can see DTLS send, DTLS request, connection request sent to PR 192.168.1.111 on the port 5246. So I told you yesterday that all the control plane communication will happen with the UDP 5246 and UDP 5246 you need to be allowed in your network. So uh, let's see uh, what is the status on the GUI of this WLC. Still we are not getting. So let me see if any error I am getting. In the same way, you can verify in your production network. So I click on the monitor, I click on the statistics, I click on the AP join. Statistics and AP join. So here it says that some AP has tried to register, whose IP address is 192.168.1.26. Since the AP is not registered completely, so it is showing the MAC address as a 00. And a status as a not join, and the AP host name is showing like this. This is the default host name with the MAC address and the AP name. I will click on this to see what is the last message. Okay, it says fail to delete database entry. Fail to delete database entry unsuccessful. Fail to delete database entry. So this is the message very important, guys. Uh, in your production network, you can use this message to troubleshoot. 